Georgian Banoff leads worship across the world. Not only does he love rocking out for God, he's also a classical violinist. While Georgian rejoices in his freedom as a Christian, he still mourns over those who suffered for decades in his childhood home of Bulgaria, trapped behind the Iron Curtain. They immediately went after killing every capitalist because according to Karl Marx, capitalism is the main evil. They made them dig the ditch, they throw them in the ditch, they put fire on them, I mean oil and burn them. We stand here at the Victims of Communism Memorial, dedicated to the more than 100 million people killed by the communists. It's important to remember that system and socialism are inextricably linked. After all, the communist USSR was the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, a system controlling everything that levels its citizens out by crushing individual incentive. Everybody makes the same amount of money. So if you're good at certain and work hard, you don't get a dime more than the guy that sit and do nothing. So the productivity goes low and low and low. This is a very destructive to successful economy. Georgian points out how shortages inevitably follow. There's nothing to, nothing to buy because everything is so depleted. The only thing you could buy every day is bread. Georgian remembers being one of the five families packed into a five-room home, and he remembers the constant fear. Now everybody's poor, and unless you're saying things that are in line 100% with the communist propaganda and doctrine, you get pulled out and eventually you disappear. And in the schools, your life, profession, and even your beliefs are all dictated to you. You are directly controlled by a supervisor who is over the teachers, so making sure everything you say supports the communists. Georgian points out it's not just about economics, but snuffing out God. He explains Karl Marx, the man behind socialism and communism, despised God and wrote these words. God, I hate you and I'll hurt you by destroying the people you create for your glory. So the whole system is actually an antichrist system. They became the God. Praise us. Glorify the communists. So it was a religion. Georgian saw how Bulgaria clamped down on Christians with an iron fist and especially targeted spirit-filled believers. They had power, now the Holy Spirit gives you power. So the Holy Spirit people were the most persecuted because they're the most unsubmissible, unsubmissible. They didn't give their membership. They, they, they meet in secret only, underground. Bibles were confiscated and every Bible press was destroyed. For those who think America can have a softer, kinder socialism, Georgian wishes they could understand for this system to succeed, it has to take total control. And that means taking away freedoms. He contrasts that to the God who gives us freedom, gifts, and power to lovingly care for all. You don't need to empower the government to fix your problems. We, the people, are well able to fix our problems. So instead of falling for what the communists will do for you, ask what God will do for you with the gift he's given you. It was Georgian's gift of music that got him into trouble with the communists. We were the first rock band ever to come on national television. We weren't even that good, but there was no bands to compare. These rockers would drive their Bulgarian audiences wild and eventually catch the communist watchful eye. Young people standing and clapping would, to them is like revolution. They say, no clapping during songs. And finally, the communists shut down the rock and roll in the middle of a big concert. And plugged all our guitars and instruments. You're all going home, no more rock and roll. This is out of control. That pushed me to want to get out of there, and I said, that's it. I can't handle this. Eventually, I got escaped through Iron Curtain and made it to the free country, yay! And here in America, he met the Jesus people who led him to a personal encounter with God. That's the first time I felt freedom that I longed for on the inside. A freedom Georgian wants people to know they'll never find under socialism and the control it will clamp on them. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from the Victims of Communism Memorial, Washington.